Well, CBS News weather producer David Parkinson joins us now with more on this forecast. Um, so Mother Nature not helping any of these people out at all? More flooding expected? Yeah, so uh, we've got to work what's uh, already uh, been through the system, all the way down the system, all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. So you, mm -hmm. you see uh, the amount of flood warnings we have uh, shaded in red here, and you can see they extend all the way down into Louisiana. Uh, so that really is the problem, is, is that we've got that whole extent of things, and then we look at the more immediate concerns there. Everything that's shaded in purple is either currently or forecasted to be at major flooding. Everything shaded in red in those little circles. Mm -hmm. uh, that's forecasted uh, to be moderate flooding. What you'll notice is in the Omaha area, there's not a lot of dots. That's because we've already flushed that water down through the system. That's not to say, though, that all of those dots up in southeastern South Dakota are not going to cause problems, but that's not going to be until later ne at the end of next week, potentially. Mm. So David, give us a sense of why the flooding has been so bad this time around. So the flooding has been bad this time around for two reasons. One, we had uh, a really, really wet lead up to it. So we've had as much as four times the amount of normal snow on the ground, the snowiest February ever in Omaha. Uh, all of those things together meant you had a huge snowpack and then you had the bomb cyclone. And when you combine those two together, uh, the bomb cyclone warmed things up, it brought a lot of rain and it started melting all those things. Look at how much snow is still on the ground in the Dakotas in Minnesota, anywhere where you see uh, that purple there, uh, that's two feet of snow. Anywhere where you see that magenta, that's three feet of snow. All of that has to melt over the next couple of weeks, so that's why we're really concerned about the Dakotas, uh, particularly next week. Uh, there's as much as six inches of uh, water trapped in that snow. All of that's going to go into the rivers. And the thing to remember is the farther north you are, the narrower the rivers are, the less it takes to cause the flooding, right? The uh, you go way down the Mississippi, that thing is incredibly wide. It's got some slack in it. There's not a whole lot of slack further up. So then when will these people be out of the woods? When will they be able to just focus on cleaning up and moving forward? So in the Omaha area, uh, they've seen the worst. They've had the worst crests. Uh, further south, right on the Iowa, Kansas, Missouri line, uh, they will be seeing it over the next day or two. But they've still got to watch upstream for the Dakotas. Uh, th those will start to crest middle of next week. The National Weather Service has a seven-day forecast. Uh, they're not at cresting point on any of those seven-day forecasts. Mm. So that should indicate to you. Um, it's also a really interesting thing of, of neighbor helping neighbors. So uh, there's some charities in North Dakota that are uh, organizing a hay lift down into Nebraska for some of the livestock. Wow. It's people in North Dakota, though, that are going to have to watch out for some flooding uh, as we head into next week. So um, that whole part of the Upper Plains is really going to have to come together um, as we get into agricultural planting season. Uh, it's going to be really pretty rough. Yeah, uh, and that. if your heart goes out to all those people that are suffering through this. Especially and, the farmers. And the I mean, farmers, geez. exactly. And tomorrow is? Spring. Well, today is spring, right? Today is five. Isn't it the 21st? I thought it was the 21st. I'm, today is the 20th. Wait, you know what? Between I, me and you, he's probably, probably, probably I'm right. I'm pretty sure it's at like 556 this afternoon. Okay, uh, we're going to go with you. Afternoon. That was we're really precise. You, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's my mother's birthday. I, uh, sh I, sh uh, I should get this right. Happy birthday, Mrs. Mrs. Parkinson. <laughs> there you go. I, I should get this right, and if I don't, it's going to be doubly embarrassing for a meteorological and a child. We trust you. We trust you. Thanks a lot, David. Thanks, David. Sure thing.